Hi, man, it's Peter, and here we're coming to my personal speciality. Um, this is a touch technique. Actually, this is a kind of a special tapping technique where you play the guitar like a pianist. And um, the good news is, um, actually, it's not really a complicated from the theoretical side, but the bad news is um, it's a little bit difficult from the technical side because as a guitar player, you're not really used to play like this with both hands. I have the big advantage. I'm a <laughs> professional piano player as well. So for me, it's actually normal to play like this. Even for some people of you, this is crazy. You play chords with your left hand and you add, give some addition with your right hand or you add some melody. And in this video, I'm going to show you some essentials. If you really want to dig for this, Uh, this is the video you should watch because you've learned the first essentials. And again, some good news and some bad news. The essentials, this is the good news, they are not so hard. The bad news is it takes a pretty uh, long while till you really have the essentials together that you really can play freely with this. So let's check it out. When I want to start with all this, um, you need to understand that we are playing chords and chords is meaning we need to play at least uh, one chord contains three notes the root note the triad and the fifth so when you play like an a minor chord which you know as this one here like a minor um bar a chord with a tapping with a touch technique you cannot play like this because you need to attack the strings without hitting the strings with your right, picking the, the strings. So for a minor chord, for A minor chord, you take index pinky here in the seventh, the middle finger in the fifth here on the G. Now you try to create this motion. So this is A minor chord. Then you go to, if you want to, uh, the second one was uh, F on this little tune. At, at, um, so this is now a major chord from F major. Now you press first, third and second. Index, ring and middle finger. Create this motion. And then D minor. Same as F major, but now with the root on the A string in the 5th, 7th, middle on the 6th. And then we jump to G major chord. So now to try to play just like this. If you can do like this, then you're ready to add some stuff with the right hand. So, so now you add additional, like in this case, we add the triad and the root note of the A minor chord on the strings which are not pressed with the left hand. So this gives this one here in the tenth fret. Then F, you can stay here. This is a very basic motion here. D minor. You just move up one string. Now G and E. And G. Here in the twelfth. That's the whole thing. It's not um, doesn't look so complicated, but really the bad news too. Really can uh, play it nicely, and without dropouts. <laughs> you will when you start to practice. You see what I mean with dropouts. Um, 
then uh, this takes a little bit time but then when you can do it Really cool stuff. And uh, if you then really want to go further from then on, then you can start to add some melody like this. In this case, this. And then the hard thing when you play melody with the right hand, you need to learn the really the technique of the left hand which you already learned on the guitar for the right hand as well all this hammer and pull off stuff is the same now for the right hand and since you're not trained for this the right hand is first is the weak part of it Yeah, and um, I mean the, the the worst problem or the, the hardest problem if you're not used to play piano is play independent left and right hand because the left is doing something completely different than the right hand and just I mean <laughs> there's no trick uh, to, to really or shortcut for this and um, just you need to really practice. It. really need to practice this that you just have some fun and make some music I, I think this is the best um, the best method just enjoy it and then you keep it going and uh, once you have it together it's really very nice and the tone is very nice it comes from the technique but of course um, <coughs> you need a clean sound setting I have a lot of reverb on it because this fats and the tone And this uh, string um, effect also, this is um, like an extreme pitch shifting effect. Yeah, this is a touch technique. Um, as I said, one of my personal speci specialities, which I really um, it makes my playing style actually. It's not a normal guitar playing, this is my, my personal thing, which I think uh, I made to my artistic uh, expression for myself. If you want to do yourself this kind of playing, as I said, be patient, work out the basic texts, check out the chords. There are not, not really any kind of books where you can learn this. Um, just think uh, in a musical way. You, also, you always need to have a chord working on the left and you add some melody on the right. Or you, you make chords with both hands like... <laughs> This is a way how you can make chords, as I said, root, triad, and fifth have to be in the chord. And whatever you find out to, to, to make this chord happen on the guitar uh, is fine with the touch technique. And um, the great benefit is the really great sound which is created through this technique. So enjoy it and keep it going. 